So, <laughs> here's a neat thing I love to talk about when it uh, concerns math, and it certainly relates to photography. This is where math has no real world application when it comes to photography. Okay. Um, a lot of people, uh, some button sniffers that uh, like to talk about X, Y, Z, they love to talk about um, if you stick a uh, full frame lens on a DX crop sensor camera, the depth of field does not change. Okay, Every lens on earth craps out the same light irrespective of the size of the sensor that's underneath it. The same thing applies to compression. You see, the fallacy that people are making and I've actually seen some idiots, and I mean some hardcore idiots, make some videos where they'll stand there with like a 20 millimeter wide and a 300 millimeter, and uh, they will take a picture of a tree off at a distance, and they will crop in the 20 millimeter to the point where, of course, they cropped it in so far that it's so grainy, it's absolutely useless and unusable. And they'll say, look, Everything, <laughs> everything is the same, except photographers, they, they don't work that way. If I'm going to take a picture of, this, say this lens represents a person, okay, and I framed it with a 300 millimeter, okay, if I'm going to frame it, I'm framing it like this with a 300 millimeter actually, if I'm going to frame it the same with say a 20 millimeter wide, I'm going to have to go with a 300 millimeter, of course it's more extreme than this, from this to this, and you know, people say, well, yeah, um, lens compression doesn't exist. It's like, yeah, it sure as hell does exist. Because the way photographers work, lens compression does exist. But if you strictly look at the math, you say, well, if you crop in that shot, there, there, there is no lens compression. So, but you're wrong. Photographers don't work that way. The same is true of depth of field. Someone says, well, you know, if you stick a full frame lens on a crop, and I've, you know, there's a really popular YouTube channel that, that used to say this nonsense all the time. While it's mathematically accurate, it's actually wrong. There are a lot of things that uh, work out on the calculator that don't actually have any connection to real world photography because every lens craps the same light irrespective of the size of the sensors underneath it. So if you're going to frame the shot the same by moving, then yes, the depth of field has changed. But if you, your subject stays here and you stay here, okay, and all you do is you take the same 50 millimeter lens and stick it on a crop sensor body, nothing has happened. A crop is a crop is a crop is a crop. All of this stuff is people that are confusing math with photography. You see, the interesting thing about math is math doesn't explain anything and it doesn't describe anything. I could like give you a uh, like a 20 page math formula of a human being. It's like X number of uh, percentage of water, you know, uh, to two eyeballs at certain height, certain weight, you know, all this. Uh, it doesn't tell you anything about what a human being is. It, it's just a bunch of numbers. It's bean counting. Math doesn't describe anything and math the, this is the huge fallacy of modern science by the way it thinks that you know math explain math has never explained anything you know <laughs> there's an ancient chinese saying that talk doesn't cook rice you know math is just like that math is except it's a different form of talk it's the quantification of something but not the qualification of anything Last I looked, photography is uh, some kind of art form. And yes, kitties, lens compression. If you want to take a look at some of the 300 millimeter 2.8 shots I did today, you can see that incredible compression. You know, I'm not going to stand there at the same spot with a 300 millimeter and say, "Well, you know, if I took a put a 50 millimeter on this and then cropped it to the same." Photographers don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So. Depth of field does not change by uh, sticking a, a full frame lens on a crop sensor camera. It doesn't. You can sit there and... It doesn't! It absolutely does not change. It doesn't change. No. It changes if you try to frame the subject the same by moving. Well, of course the depth of field changes then, but that's not the way photographers work. If it is, you know, if you do want to frame it the same, then yes, the depth of field is going to change. But no. If you stand in the same spot and your subject's in the same place, 
and you stick the lens off of a full frame camera, you take a shot with full frame, and then you slap it on a DX crop since it, nothing changes. It's just a crop. Depth of field is not changed at all. You can take all the test shots you want to prove it. It doesn't change anything. So, yeah, the other one is that bigger sensors gather more light. No, they don't. <laughs> bigger sensors don't gather more light. Exposure is per unit area. You need to make a list of all the fallacies that people think. You're trying to, let's like try to kill off all these fallacies. It's the same thing uh, since I translate ancient Prakrit. I've been trying to kill off this notion. There's this one, the entire, there's one religion. I'm not going to get into it. I've made tons of videos on the word Anada and Anatman. One religion, the entire definition of which revolves around the definition of one word and one word only. And I am the world's grand guru and god of the definition of that word. I know every occurrence of it. I know the context of it. I could write a book about it. I could write two books about that one word. <clears throat> but everything in this particular religion, that uh, it would actually fall apart if you were to... If they were to acknowledge the truth. Isn't that kind of amazing? It's like I can give the, the occurrence of every occurrence of this word. It's contextual usage. The fact that it does not say. If I said that there are Eskimos in Alaska. And seals in Alaska. And snow in Alaska. But no palm trees. Which I'm, there might be some palm trees somewhere. In, in, no palm trees in Alaska. Is that a denial of palm trees? You have to go further south to see palm trees, right? See, this is called the fallacy of composition. Since there is only A, B, C, and D in X, and uh, no Y, which would be palm trees, then we are not denying Y, correct? That would be a fallacy of composition, right? Right? Yeah, anyway, that's a matter for another side. Human beings are really not that smart. Human beings are just not that smart. Um, there are a lot of people that try to, and math is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with math. You know, it takes a lot of math to actually design the semiconductors and whatnot. The only problem is that it needs to end at a certain point, and then it's about composition, lens compression, depth of field. Yeah. Depth of field does not change with a full frame lens. You can bitch all you want, but it doesn't change. Go test it. You know, why don't you send me some test shots? <laughs> You're good luck with that because it doesn't change. It's the fascinating thing that blows my mind is that these people that think they're so smart, and some of them are some rather large YouTube photography channels, every lens on Earth is exactly like this lens right here. And this lens does not know nor care nor behave any differently when you mount it on a full frame camera or a, a DX crop sensor camera. The light that drops out of the rear element, its little butt back here, is exactly the same, regardless and irrespective of the sensor that's underneath it. Regardless, it drops the same light. And if you stand in the same spot, nothing changes. <laughs> This kitties is called an example of when math does not explain things, and it confuses uh, slightly less than very intelligent people. Like, well, you know, you have to. These are the same people that uh, tell you crazy crap. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah. there's a formula, by the way, for exposure, and it's per unit area, not per total area. That always amazes me. People think that, like, well, a larger picture window lets in more light. Therefore, a larger sensor must gather more light. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And what I like best when I talk about stuff like this is when people protest in the car. Yeah, it does. It does. And I go, <laughs> uh, no. Thank you so much for watching. New lens came in the mail today, and it's very radioactive. That's why I'm not going to put it directly up against my eye. The Geiger counter says this lens screams radiation. This is a uh, Yashinan DSM, a 50mm f1.4, i.e. a Yashica lens with a Minolta lens cap, by the way. This came in the mail today for me, and it's very radioactive. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Adios. Tos vidanya. Uvinim sa. Paka. Hasta la vega. Hasta la vista. All that stuff. Aloha. Bye.